Ryan was just 14 when criminals began to manipulate him. He was in care, a placement had broken down, and he was smoking cannabis. The grooming started when I could no longer afford the cannabis. I got myself in debt by ticking it, which is where you borrow drugs for a certain amount of time and you pay it when you have the money. So I started racking up a big debt for myself. When I was in debt, I had to do jobs for them for nothing to try and pay back that debt. So it'd be stuff like, I'd do packages, small amounts of drugs, then getting into larger packages, picking packages up from post offices and transporting them to where I needed to deliver to. He was trapped by the criminals who had groomed him. My debt rose to a point where I were getting death threats. I couldn't leave my house and I couldn't pay my debt off. It were impossible. It had got to the point where they'd manipulated me that much that there was no way I could get out of it. Ryan has managed to escape and at 17 is trying to start a new life with the support of the St Giles Trust. The charity wants young people to be able to spot the signs that they're being influenced by criminals and know how to ask for help. You be honest, that's what makes you a good citizen, right? They warn that children can be more vulnerable to grooming over the summer holidays and have been running awareness sessions around Leeds. Now it seems like generationally the kids are getting younger and younger, so I feel like the more, the earlier you can educate kids, the better, because it sets them up for that sort of, like, to be aware if they're approached by, say, a gang, that they know how to deal with them sort of situations. You know, girls have as much involvement in the county lines, trafficking, drugs, you know, from major cities into rural towns and smaller cities, um, and obviously secreting um, bladed instruments, and that's why the girls have as much of a, you know, a session delivered to them as much as the boys. Last year, the St Giles Trust helped 51 children in our region find a way out from county lines drug dealing. Now, Ryan is supporting their work and is hopeful for the future. I've been given another chance. The work I'm doing is brilliant. I think it's an amazing thing, going out supporting young people and trying to prevent them starting the same process I was in. Corinne Wheatley, BBC Look North, Leeds.